Hello, welcome to Sylvie Tarot. Let's see what is going on in love at this hour. At this time, let's see what the vibes are, of course. Browser. All right, some of you may be browsing the net at this time. All right, so tying the knot here. Very nice. Very nice. So before we start, of course, check out the description box below. All right, stay tuned for the extended preview for this video. Okay, also check out my new YouTube channel, Celine La Vie here. If you would like to manifest a text here, meditate, or just if you like to sleep in a peaceful vibe, all right? All of that is also below. So jumping in, we have tying the knot here. Some of you are just like, I'm ready to get serious. I I want seriousness. I'm ready, to, I'm ready for commitment here. Someone here is viewing you in that energy, all right? So someone here could be marriage-minded or just long-term-minded, like I'm ready to move forward in a relationship here. I'm ready to actually have a relationship that makes sense or that has some sort of substance. So I feel like for some of you moving into, you know, even into like this whole, um, you know, Valentine's Day, not everybody celebrates that, but a lot of you are just moving into this energy this year of wanting to have more of a relationship that has some sort of commitment, right? I want to actually express myself and actually um, have something substantial with this person that I may be be connecting with or haven't met as of yet but i feel like it's more of a mindset is what i'm saying okay you look at this this is just uh marriage minded or commitment minded here okay so some of you uh, a commitment or a long-term energy is coming in because that is what you're manifesting right that's what you're pulling in all right we have getaway so some of you would love to actually travel or the person that you're connecting with there could be a trip that you're planning with this person or you want to do that that's something that you may propose or be proposed to in terms of going on a small vacation okay so look out for that look vacation together romantic retreat uh, we're going to meet up and talk something over for some of you it's like yeah i thought something was over but it's not here all right i have shocking energy as well here all right so let's look deeper all right so my viewers are in this mentality of of course um moving into a long-term relationship i like that I like it, okay? Some of you could live near water or there's like water around you at this time or you could just be a water sign here. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy, okay? Some of you are asking yourself, should I travel? What, what What's next for me here? Okay, so what's going on in the current energy for love for my viewers? What is the current energy for love? Uh, okay. What is the current energy for love at this time for my viewers? Enough is enough. Let's fix this. Calls coming in. Energy is coming in here. Someone here is sort of tired of a, a pattern in love. This is what it is. I'm, I'm sort of tired of a pattern in love here. Okay. Some of you are dealing with someone or connecting with energies and you're saying, I don't know if this person's really going to change. Like I, I'm not too sure if this is someone here that's going to change this person when they uh, withdraw, they go into their head, they go into their own space. Enough is enough here. Let's get some more for my viewers in love. Thank you. And we have, I love you. Bottom of the deck, we have unintentional. I didn't mean to come towards you that way, or I didn't mean to um, make things seem as if I didn't care, right? And again, as you know, um, you know, this is an energy of someone here wanting to circle around, wanting to come back around here. I feel like there was this energy of someone here not really wanting to commit, right? There was like this energy of you wanted something serious and that person didn't want something serious. And again, I feel like what you're doing is you're moving into this energy, whatever it is, right? Whether it's connecting with a past person, connecting with a new person and moving into this energy of I'm actually looking for something long term. That's what I'm, that's, what I want to do, right? I don't want the friends with benefits. I don't want to not be um, some sort of priority in your life. And I feel like that's the energy that's happening here, right? Whether your person is in that mind frame or not, that's the uh, state of mind that you're in, okay? I feel like a lot of you are just setting your standards here. Whether you realize it yet or not, that's the vibes, okay? But we have I love you here coming in very strong and we have unintentional, all right? Worth waiting for. 
Mm. Someone here is still in love with someone even after they possibly walked away. Mm hmm. So I'm still in love with this person. I'm still in love with you, even though I decided to walk away. So someone here still has like that. It's like I still have that soft spot for you. I still feel for you. I still miss you. All right. For some of you, it's like I didn't mean to, you know, completely cut things off. I wish you just would have tried to work on this. Someone here was trying to set an example. And I feel like after you possibly um, disconnected or moved away from this person, now this person is not really giving you much. So you're wondering, you know, like, should I wait for this person? Should I wait for this person to reach out to me? Or should I just focus on my healing at this time? Okay, so I feel like for some of you healing is what you are literally um, doing right now, right? It's a beautiful healing journey. It's a healing journey that's putting you in this space of, you know, I, I can't chase, I can't chase. The only thing that I require at this time is stability here. Okay. But I feel like there is this energy of the seven of swords coming in. Someone here is avoiding the fact that here that they need to apologize to you. All right. Sorry for the wind. The wind is crazy out there. So again, someone here is avoiding the fact that they need to apologize here. Okay. I'm getting a lot of like, let's try to avoid some sort of conversation or let's try to avoid the fact that, um, I hurt you here. Okay. So I feel like someone here could be running from that at this time, not really ready to heal a situation currently. All right. We'll look in the extended to see what the vibes are moving into the future in the next couple of months again. But with this energy of, um, let's just fix things or let's just kind of ignore everything that happened in the past here and let's make things work. Uh, this could be you or your partner, but I feel like someone here is trying to skip over some sort of step here. And I feel like this step is definitely healing and building trust again. Like we need to be able to trust one another because the last time I checked, you weren't really working on building something stable with me, okay? For some of you, you could have lived with this person. It could have been a Gemini here, Capricorn I'm getting. Also Aries or Sagittarius but what is that a Gemini or a Gemini energy okay now let's take a look at this vibe here things are falling someone here is afraid of telling you that they love you or that they still love you I'm afraid of telling you that I love you I feel like if I tell you that I love you that you'll think that we're ready to tie the knot again and I'm not really ready for that energy okay I feel like someone here it's like there is like this humble energy, okay, when they do think of you. There is there is this energy of, I can't deny, or okay, I can't run from the love that I do have for you or that I do feel for you here. But again, look at this person's head. It's like, I feel bad. I feel remorseful. I know I said a lot of things when I was drinking or I said a lot of things when I wasn't in my right state of mind or I ghosted or I wasn't really giving you what you needed, but... When I look back and I think about how much you loved me and I think about how you actually cared for me, even when I was down, you cared for me. I look back and I realize I hurt you and I didn't mean to do so. OK, so I feel like this is an energy of someone understanding that they need to grow out of the selfish mindset of just hurting innocent people. Not to say that you're innocent, but hurting people that really don't deserve it and just not taking accountability. I feel like someone here understands that. But the biggest question here is tying the knot. Are we going to be able to tie the knot in the future? Are we going to be able to commit? Because if not, then I feel like you're, you know, creating your own safe space here. Because again, a lot of you that are watching from the vibes that I'm getting, there's this energy of I need to heal if you're not able to come in and bring love into this energy. Okay, so let's get a little bit more here. Let's see what the vibes are. It's the energy. Yeah, someone here misses your love. They miss your companionship. They miss your energy. Something happened here between you two and someone said enough, like really enough. I I just can't. Someone here gave up. It's like I've tried every angle, Silavi. Taro, I've tried every angle and none of the angles were successful here. Okay, let's get a little bit more. Thank you. All right. So we have honeymoon. What is happening here? 
enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, right? We do have some holidays coming up. It could be your birthday. It could be anniversaries coming up. It could be the big V day, whatever you want to call that. But there's this energy of this could be the one, this could be the person, and again, for some of you, this may be someone here realizing that someone else is falling in love with you and they're just like, wait, hold on, you're in love with someone else that actually cares about you more than I did? How can I fix this here? Someone here is possibly going to realize that you've moved on. That's for some of you here. And questioning, are you going to wait for me? Someone here could be extremely arrogant self-focused like they focus on themselves a lot here and they made you feel like you were losing hope right this person could be watching you like browsing through your whatever it is that you have some of you are not on the internet here but some of you are however this person could you know see you or watch you or whatever it is someone here feels like you're still waiting for them little do they know you might be but little do they know you may be connecting with someone else here Ooh, some of you could be meeting someone here that actually wants to tie the knot with you, but you're still trying to heal from something. Hey, okay. So let's jump over to the extended and see uh, what this person wants to do. What What is this person's action? What does this person actually want to confess to you? And can we take this person seriously? Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Have a beautiful one. And of course, subscribe if this resonated for you. Have a good one. And I feel like for some of you, you're at a point where you're like, do you feel this soul connection as much as I feel it? Because I feel it regularly. It says, I feel like my soul is connected to yours. Can you feel me too? You must be my soulmate here. Someone is saying, you must be my soulmate.